Halcyon chlorus chloroptera, Oberholzer, white collared kingfisher. Specimens 4. 9.5 mod. Etawa. Female largest ovum 3 ma 61.7 June July 29, 1962, mid 2683. Male testis 5 form. Telepoke. Female. February 9, 1963. G. Er. Conway. Female. February 10, 1963. G. 19C February er Conway. This is a bird of the sea coast. It was seen at Toa, Siamel Island, and Karandingen Island. Halcyon Sancta Sancta, Vigors and Horsefield, Sacred Kingfisher. Specimen 1. Cocoa Research Station. Male. The specimen was taken along the Epass River in Scrubland near the river. One previously was recorded from North Borneo, this from Labuan Smythes 1957-660. E-1963-278 saw another at Bato on the Labuk River. Halcyon Pileata, Bodert, Black-capped Kingfisher. Specimens 3. Tenum Male, January 1, 1963. Pintesen Agriculture Station. Female, October 18, 1963. Ad 322. Male, October 11, 19. The specimen from Tenum was caught in a net in the Scrub Grassland Association. The others were taken along the Kinabatangan River. Pelargopsis capensis fraseri sharp. Stork billed kingfisher. Specimens 2. Telepoke. Male, February 9, 1960. Rumus. Male, April 16, 1963. Add 53. This species was common along the lower reaches of the Calabacan and Branchen rivers and in the mangroves near Toa. Alcidu ethis bengalensis melon. Common kingfisher. Specimen 1. Pintes in Agriculture Station. Female, October 12. I saw this kingfisher once along the Epis River at Coin Hill. Again along the beach at Simul Island. Alcidu, Arizona, Arizona Temink. Blue banded kingfisher. Specimens 4. Cocoa Research Station. Male, September 7, 12 Mai. Calabacan. Male, October 19, 1962, MC 3091. Female, October 20, 1962, MC. This species was fairly common along streams deep in the primary forest at Coin Hill. Seeks Erythacus, Sper. Linnaeus, Forest Kingfisher. Specimens, 4. Cocoa Research Station, Male, 13.2. September 14, 1962. And Calabacan. Male. October 18, 1962. Mc 3075. Female. October 26, 1960. Oil Palm Research Station. Male. September 5, 1963. Add 273. All specimens taken showed characters intermediate between those of the subspecies C. E. Motley and C. E. Rufidorsis. Vuis, 1951, states that, in all the Malaysian region, the greatest number of hybrids between these two subspecies occurred in Borneo and further. My specimens also showed these intermediate tendencies, and I am unable at present to allocate the specimens to subspecies. Marops viridis viridis lineus, blue throated bee eater. Specimens, 9. Mint. Rumus. Male, March 5, 1963. Add 9. Male, March 5, 1963. Add 10. Female. Telepoke. Female, March 24, 1963. Add 39. Pintesin. Male, October 22, 1963. Add 302, female, October 12, 1963, add 300.
These specimens were all taken in March and October and seem to support Smythe's 1957-664 idea that they arrived with the northeast monsoon. October Nickshornis amicta temink, red-bearded bee-eater. Specimen 1. Cocoa Research Station. Mail, September 27, 19. The specimen was taken along a stream in the deep primary forest, where it was sitting on a dead twig overlooking the stream. The call note was much like that of a scolding squirrel. This was the only time this species was observed in the Coinhill area. Eurystemus orientalis, Sinicolis violet, broad-billed roller. Specimens, 4. Cocoa Research Station. Male test is too quantum. At the cocoa research station, this common bird perched in dead trees in the cocoa. On several evenings in September, an individual was seen catching insects in flight at dusk, repeatedly returning to a stump between forays. This continued until it was so dark that I could barely discern the bird. Durenicornis comatus raffles, white crested hornbill. A pair was seen feeding about 150 feet up in a tree at the Cocoa Research Station. No other was seen in northern Borneo. And Norhinus gallertus, Temink, bushy crested hornbill. This hornbill was seen only on October 3, 1962, at the Cocoa Research Station, when a fly. Aceros leucocephalus, violat, wrinkled hornbill. On October 3, 1962, a pair was seen in the primary forest at the Cocoa Research Station. Aceros undulatus undulatus. Shaw. Wreathed hornbill. Specimens. 2. Cocoa Research Station. Female large. This, the most common hornbill at Coin Hill and at Calabacan, occurred in primary forest. Anthracoceros melanus raffles. Black hornbill. A flock of five was seen at the Cocoa Research Station Rest House on September 6 and 13, 1962. Buceros rhinoceros lineus, rhinoceros hornbill. It was fairly common at the Cocoa Research Station, where several were observed in July and August. Rhinoplax vigil forster. Helmeted hornbill. The helmeted hornbill was rarely observed but almost every day we heard its call when we were on the east coast. It was also heard in the forest on the west coast around Tenum, but is not common there owing to hunting by the natives. Skulls of this and the preceding species were on sale in a shop at Tenum, despite laws prohibiting the killing of these species. Calor... These barbets were common at the cocoa research station both in secondary forest and cocoa, usually in groups of three or four. They were seen also at Calabacan where the birds fed in the top of a 100-foot tree in the primary forest. In describing this bird, Smythe's 1962 said the male's bill is black. The one male that I took had an orange bill, and at no time did I observe any black-billed birds at the Cocoa Research Station. This black bill, perhaps, is a character of the subspecies C. Fuliginosus. Megalema henrisi brachyr newman. Yellow-crowned barbet. Specimens. 3. Cocoa Research Station. Female. 72.8. This barbet was common at the Cocoa Research Station and its call could be heard at any time of day until dusk. Smythe's 1963 described this call as tuk 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 truk. All birds of this species that I watched and listened to, however, were calling thus. Truk tuk 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 tuk. The number of tuks varies, but is generally four and can be as high as seven. This species was heard at all stations on the East Coast. At Calabacan, one was heard calling all day long from the top of a 70-foot tree. Comparison of my specimens with those in the U. S. National Museum revealed that mm. A. Brachyrhincha was readily distinguishable from the nominate race by measurements. The average length of bill in my specimens was 23 mm, 
whereas the average length in two specimens from Sumatra and Siam in the U. S. National Museum was 27 mm. The Bornean specimens differ also in having the blue patch on the head larger and darker than in M. A. Henderson. Mm. A. Bratcher Hincha certainly seems to be a valid race on the basis of the available specimens. Megalema Chrysop of Tidger Estate Mail, November 25, 1962, 3324. Next to the brown barbet, this was perhaps the most common barbet at the Cocoa Research Station and was often the only bird heard in the heat of the day. On three occasions, birds were observed clinging to the side of a tree as a woodpecker might, pecking away at dead wood. This species was seen both in the cocoa and primary forest. Megalema mystacophanes mystacophanes, Temig, gaudy barbet. Specimens 8. Cocoa Research Station. Female 60.12 my. A Calabacan. Male October 20, 1962. Mig 3103. 5.5 my. So Male testis 8. Mig 6 mum December 25. 1962, 3530. Female. This common bird lived in the secondary and primary forest and cocoa. I saw it at all localities. At least two calls were given by this species. One was a simple took with a long pause between calls. The other was as described by Smythes, 196323. The birds fed from high in trees down to nearly ground level. This species like um, Chrysopogon, clung to the sides of trees and pecked at dead wood. Megalema australis duvosili, lesson, little barbet. Specimens, 3, Cocoa Research Station, male testis, 7, I was unable to make detailed observations on this species. All specimens were taken from a high feeding tree where it was impossible to identify them beforehand. Indicator Archipelagicus temic. Malaysianani Guide. Specimens 2. Cocoa Research Station. Female Ovary Minute 29 November 1960. Tenum Male Testis 3 January 5, 1963. Mut 3580. The specimen from the cocoa research station was taken in a net in the cocoa and the tenum bird was taken in a net in the middle of tenum, both in garden areas. These two specimens differ in coloration from borning birds in the U. S. National Museum. I think the difference results from foxing of the older specimens. Specimens have been taken previously in North Borneo on the Bangkoka River, Lombardin, and on the Mengalong River Smythes, 1957-669. Mary Norman saw this honey guide once at the Coin Estate in 1962. Smythes, 1963-279. Sazia mums is the same in the Rufus Piculus. Specimens, 13. Cocoa Research Station. Male testis, 12 mai. A Calabacan, female, October 17, 1962, mid 3061, 5.5 mai. So tenum, male, December 19, 1962, mid 3470, female, December 23, 1962, oil palm research station, female, August 24, 1963. At 257, male, August 15, 1960. The piculate was common in the secondary undergrowth near the Cocoa Research Station and was taken once in the primary forest. One bird was seen sitting on a small branch about 10 feet up at a right angle to the branch. It did not ascend the tree like a woodpecker. This species was also taken in the moss forest near Tenum. Picus punicis observandus hartert. Crimson Winged Woodpecker. Specimens. 2. Cocoa Research Station. 
female 65.8 gig July. This woodpecker was observed twice, both times in primary forest at the Cocoa Research Station. Picus mentalis humiae, target, checkered throated woodpecker. Specimens 2. Cocoa Research Station, female 93. Point. I saw this bird only twice, in primary forest. Picus miniasis malaxensis latham, banded red woodpecker. Specimen 1. Cocoa Research Station, male testis 8. Uh, on August 4, I saw two birds of this species together in badly disturbed primary forest and took the specimen listed above. Micropternus brachyurus badiosus bonaparte, rufus woodpecker. Specimens 5. Cocoa Research Station, female brood patch, 4. Tigerous state, male, June 23, 1963, at 158. Female, June 23, 1963, at 100. I saw this woodpecker but twice, both times at the Cocoa Research Station. A female taken from a dead tree in the Cocoa may have been just finishing nesting activities, judging from the size of the ova. A pair seen feeding on the ground near a brush pile in secondary forest was collected. The stomachs contained ants. Dendrocopus canicapillus orantiventris. Salvadora. Oriental Pygmy Woodpecker. Specimens 2. Cocoa Research Station. Sex. On July 22, four individuals were feeding on dead trees in the cocoa. They made a cheap, cheap sound, rattling calls, and drummed. On August 25, 1962, two were feeding in dead trees in the cocoa. The tests of specimen 2807 were probably regressing since it was beginning the molt. Maglips tristis micropternus hess. Fulvus rumped barred woodpecker. Specimens 2. Cocoa Research Station. Female 31. Compared with um, Tucke, this species was comparatively rare. I saw two on July 7 working in a living tree some 15 feet above the ground. The tree was only 20 feet high and had dense foliage. The birds gave a rattling call note of about two seconds duration. It sounded like a typical woodpecker call. The single call note can be rendered cheat. They were also heard drumming, but only softly. The stomachs contained ants, which probably are what the two woodpeckers were feeding on in the green tree. Maglips tuck a tuck in the lesson. Buff-necked bared woodpecker. Specimens 13. Cocoa Research Station. Male test 12 mine. The Calabacan, female, October 26, 1962, 3153. Telepoc, female, March 24, 1962, at 37. Agriculture Oil Palm Research Station, female, October 4, 1963, add 292. Female, August 15, 19, Pintessin Agriculture Station, female, October 17, 1963, at 313. This was the most common woodpecker at the Cocoa Research Station. A flock of four was seen on July 28, 1962, and on December 2, 1962, I took three simultaneously in one mist net. The species has flocking tendencies. Calls heard were a typical woodpecker rattle. Dinopium raflis edulatens delacor. A live-backed, three-toed woodpecker. Specimens 4. Cocoa Research Station. Male testis 11. 12 my. A calabacan. Male October 20, 1962. Mc 3097. Oil Palm Research Station. Male August 12. 1963, add 227. The species was taken in both primary and secondary forest. The specimen collected at the Cocoa Research Station on July 12 suggests that the species breeds there. Dryocuppus javensis javensis, horse field, great black woodpecker. Specimens 4. Cocoa Research Station. Female old.
This species was common at the Cocoa Research Station. On June 30, 1962, a flock of six was moving through secondary forest. On July 6, 1962, I saw four in dead trees in one of the cocoa fields. Mutilaripicus pulverulentus pulverulentus, temink, great slaty woodpecker. Specimen 1. Tager Estate. Male, November 20. I saw this species once at the cocoa research station, where a flock of four was feeding 30 feet up in secondary forest about 100 feet high on October 4, 1962. Blithippicus rubiginosus parvus chasson and claws. Maroon woodpecker. Specimens. 2. Cocoa Research Station. Male, September 28, 12 Mai. And Calabacan. Male M. October 17, 1962. Mc 3062. I saw this bird sporadically while I was on the East Coast. It seemed to prefer secondary forest that had some undergrowth and was invariably flushed from the understory. Chrysocolaps validus Xanthopagus finch, orange-backed woodpecker. Specimens, 4. Cocoa Research Station. Male, this was one of the more common woodpeckers at the Cocoa Research Station. I saw it throughout the period I was there, in secondary forest and dead trees in the cocoa fields. Caliptomina viridis gloriosa dagnan, green broad bill. Specimens, 10. Cocoa Research Station. Female 67.4, 12 mine. And Calabacan. Female, October 12, 1962. Mc 3015. Female, October 20, 1962. Mc Oil Palm Research Station. Female, August 15, 1963. At 240. Pintison. Male, October 16. 1963, add 310. Site records of this species are evidently a poor indication of its abundance, because I saw but one in the field at the cocoa research station, a male sitting in the top of cocoa tree about eight feet up. All the specimens were netted, and the number so taken indicates not only that the species is common, but also that it frequents the lower levels of the forest as well as the tops of tall trees, as noted Simber hinchus make or hinchus make or hinchus. Mullen, black and red broadbill. Specimens, 2. Calabacan, male November 16. Tiger estate, male November 25, 1962, 3,321. This species was seen only at Calabacan, where I caught two in one net in dense secondary forest. Uralamus acromullus acromullus raffles. Black and yellow broadbill. Specimens 9. Cocoa Research Station. Male 32. Agricultural Station Gum Gum. Female. September 26, 1963. Add 284. Pintessin Agriculture Station. Female. October 16, 1963. Add 311. This broadbill was common at the cocoa research station in cocoa fields and adjacent secondary forest. It was never seen in primary forest. On September 4, 1962, I saw 10 to 15 in the cocoa moving in a loose flock. The birds uttered call notes and at the same time bowed their heads sharply, as if to emphasize the call. Frequent supplanting attacks and other aggressive interactions were seen. The species was heard and observed also at a place 12 miles north of Calabacan, at the edge of but never in primary forest. Eurolamus javanicus brooke robinson and Kloss. Banded broadbill. Specimen. 1. Cocoa Research Station. Male testis 7x4. This broadbill was seen only on two occasions at the Cocoa Research Station, both times at the edge of the primary forest. Pitta body Mueller and Schlegel. Blue headed Pitta. Specimens 6. 12 mine. Calabacan. Female. October 17, 1962. Mc 3067. Female. October 23, 1962.
The blue-headed pitta was abundant at the Calabacan collecting locality in primary forest. It was seen only once at the Coco Research Station. The voice of this bird was a one-note whistle with a terminal inflection. It reminded me of a small child crying. When one called, it was usually in chorus with several others. Pittagogena Chuanari Bonaparte. Banded Pittat. Specimens. 4. Coco Research Station. Female M63.4. The specimens were taken in primary forest. This pitta was exceedingly tame, often moving along only 20 feet ahead of the observer. The one adult male taken hopped along the forest floor, occasionally jumping up on a log or plant to look back. It finally flushed and flew about 30 feet ahead of me to a log. There it gave a call which can be rendered as shoe, repeated at 10 to 15 second intervals. The call was much like that of Pitta sordida. Pitta brachyura molluccensis. P. Pitta brachyura molluccensis. Mueller, blue winged Pitta. Specimen 1. Tenum. Female oviduct slightly enlarged, edematized brood patch. The specimen was taken in a net stretched across a dry stream near the Paytas River in a relatively open area near a coconut groove with some bamboo and elephant ears nearby. Pitta sorda de Mulleri Bonaparte. Green breasted pitta. Specimens. 2. Coco Research Station. Female. May 1, 9. The discovery of this bird by Garcia was a surprise. I was familiar with its habits and calls in the Philippines and in four months I never heard or observed it at the Coco Research Station. Perhaps the specimens were migrants. Hirundo Tahitica a body overholser. Pacific Swallow. Specimen. 1. Coco Research Station, male, April 26, 1960. This species was common at most localities on the East Coast. On June 25, 1962, a pair was building a nest under the Coco Research Station laboratory. On July 21, young were observed leaving the nest at the Research Station rest house. Hirundo rustica guttralis scopoli. Common swallow. Specimens 9, 12 my. In Calabay, they male. I saw this migrant at Semporna on August 19, 1962. Soon it was the most common swallow at each of the localities where seen. Cecropsia strelata strelata temic and strelidal, striated swallow, while in Calabacan on November 3, 1962, I saw a swallow that differed markedly. I could not see the breast, but the rump was conspicuously tawny, clearly indicating that the bird belonged to this species. There are but two specimens from Borneo, both from southwestern Sarawak, Smythes, 1963-153. D. Bachelor records the species from Kimanis Bay but gives no dates other than November December Smythes, 1963 280. Bachelor's observation and mine provide the first records from North Borneo. Dicurus aeneas melaensis, Blythe, Bronzed Drongo. Specimen 1. 12 My. Calabacan. Female, October 20, 1962. Mc 3000. 104. This drongo was seen only once, when a flock of three to five was feeding late one evening in a clearing where the trees had been cut down the day before. Decurus paradisius brachyphorus, Bonaparte, large racket-tailed drongo. Specimens. 5. Coco Research Station. Female. 12. My. A Calabacan. Female. October 20, 1962. 3102. Calabacan. Male. 
November 18, 1962, Mc3303. I seldom saw this species in the cocoa at Coin Hill.